Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at some vector operations in three dimensions. So let us define some basic terms. We want to represent um, the i, j, and k vectors. Let us do, define what these are. Let me draw a three-dimensional graph and then I will explain that. So if we have uh, x, y, and z axis like that, and if we wait to if we wait to represent one unit on the positive x axis like that, and if we call this as i, if we represent one unit on the positive y axis and if we represent that as j and if we wait to represent one unit on the positive z axis and if we call that as k and if we wait to come in here and then represent this in terms of a um, block like this if I wait to represent this as a block I'm just going to draw a figure here and hopefully this should give us an idea as to how this block would look like and therefore uh, in here we have represented i, j and k vectors, unit vectors and the way we can define them is as follows. If i is a vector of unit length in the direction of x-axis and if j is a vector of unit length in the direction of positive y-axis and k is a vector of unit length in the direction of z-axis. So this is the way we can represent i, j and k vectors in x, y, z coordinate system. So we can also represent uh, a vector algebraically uh, as shown. If I wait to take this information and if I were to say there is a vector uh, A which is which is going from the origin I'm going to try with another color if I were to take it from there all the way till there and if, if this is called vector A and I can represent vector A as I can represent vector A as a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k. So once again, if i is a unit vector of, i is a vector of unit length in the direction of the x-axis and j is a vector of unit length in the direction of positive y-axis and k is a vector of unit length in the direction of positive z-axis, then any vector a as I'm showing here, any vector A can be represented as vector A as A1i plus A2j plus A3k, where A1, A2, A3 are the magnitudes of the vector x, y, and z components respectively. This is called the algebraic representation of vector. This is the algebraic representation of this vector. In my next presentation, we shall look at some um, look at some properties related to vector operations in three dimensions.